So now that you know a little bit about bearings, you can start using it to solve trigonometric questions or use trigonometry to solve bearings style questions. Um, let's take a look at some examples, but I can't give you a million examples, but you just need to think about each one as you, as you try them. Try to draw a picture and then move from there. So a man walks five kilometers north and then three kilometers east. What bearing should he walk in to go home? All right, so this is a question that you might get. There's a million different questions we can ask you, but here's an example. And here's, a, uh, I guess, a look at the thought process that goes behind it. So a compass rose is a good way to start. North, east, south, west. And... Here's my man, and he starts here. The first thing he did was walk five kilometers north. He walked five kilometers north. Boom, 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 walk. And then he turned three kilometers. He sorry, he turned east and he walked three kilometers. Boom, 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 boom. So he walked here, he walked here, and this is his new location. Now the question is, what bearing should he walk in to go home? So going home looks like this. So we're saying, what is the bearing of that? Oh, I should label my triangle. All right, so a bearing. This is his like finished position and he needs to come back here. If I draw another compass rose in, what bearing should he travel on? Let's use true bearings for this particular question. So a true bearing is the angle from here all the way to there. So we want to know this angle. We want to know that big angle there. I know it's more than 180, so he definitely needs to walk more than 180. More than 180. And I know it's less than 270, because 270 would be all the way here, walking back east. Less than 270. So it's somewhere in between here and here. Now there's a few different ways you can do it, but the way that I'm going to do it, is finding this angle. If I know that angle, then I can find this big angle here. All right, so let's not use a question mark. Let's use X. All right, so it's a right angle triangle. It's going to be, I know five kilometers, which is the opposite side. I know three kilometers, which is the adjacent side. And I want to know X. So this is going to be a tan question. Tan X equals opposite over adjacent. X equals shift tan 5 over 3. All right, that's 59.03. I'm just going to round here to the nearest degree. 59 degrees. So this bit here is 59 degrees. So my final step to find the true bearing the final step to find the true bearing is to realize that from here to here is 270 so from here to here would be 270 minus 59. So he needs to travel 211 degrees true. Now what's important to understand here is that this is one example of one question. We could ask you an infinite number of bearings and trig questions. Really, the only thing you have to do is be able to draw a picture of whatever the question is asking. Once you can draw that picture, 
you can start figuring out angles or lengths. I could have asked you how far does he need to walk. You might have been able to use Pythagoras to figure that out as well. Could have asked what direction was he from the beginning, and you would have had to find this angle here. So there's a whole range of bearings and trigonometry questions that you might get asked. But there's one of them. Draw the picture. Go from there.